What is going on everybody? Matitu22 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends movie Black Panther figure. But as always guys, before we look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So it says Black Panther and the nice movie logo right across the top. Legend series, Okoye, build a figure. We got the Black Panther logo right there. Nice shot on the side. Same shot on the other side, writing and barcode and stuff on the bottom. Nice shot of the figure right there with a brief little bio. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause this video now. And there are the other figures available. And some more stuff on the bottom. Hasbro logo. But that does it for the packaging. So allow me to take a quick minute. I will get this guy out of the box and then we can take a closer look. All right, so taking a look at Black Panther out of the package, he looks really nice. I, I think initially I like this one better than the Civil War version. Uh, I don't know if there's much of a difference, but there's just something about the feel of this one. I think it's maybe has a little bit better articulation. But so looking at the sculpt of the Black Panther face, really nice. You could see all the detail, all the little detail going on in there, not just in the face, but all over the suit. You can see all that little texturing. Looks really cool. So a lot of nice fine detail. They really went out of their way to make this guy badass. And I really like him. So I definitely dig the face sculpt. Uh, as far as colors go, he's like 99% black. So if you do not like the color black, then this is probably not the figure for you. Uh, but the silver, de the silver parts are quite nice. No inconsistencies with the paint. Maybe like, okay, right there, that's a little sloppy, just having the paint over the ball joint. But that's about it. Other than that, I mean, I think the paint looks really nice. Silver looks good. I like all the fine, like I said, I like all the fine little details. Uh, hands, he's, he, he, I don't mind the arthritis hands as much here. They're not as arthritis-y as the other ones. I think they just more look like outward claws, but uh, the fingers are not all weirdly bent and warped. So they did learn from their mistakes, which is nice. Uh, other than that, not too much to talk about on this guy. So looking at his articulation, head moves forward and back very well. The head is on a ball joint, which is on a neck disc. So that works really well. Side to side, no problem. Arms move up this far can move them in this far and he has a butterfly joint so you can move them, move them even further which is really nice on a figure like this on a character like this he has the bicep swivel double jointed elbow not the best range of motion but it is enough to get him in a good Wakanda forever pose so I like that wrist rotation and wrist hinge ab crunch very good very effective ab crunch on this guy Looks really far back, really far down. So the ab crunch is perfect on this guy. Waist twist. It's got a nice ratchet in there. Hips move out to about this far, and they are on a double ball peg. He can kick this far forward and this far back, which is nice. I mean, Black Panther is a very agile, a very uh, gymnasty kind of character. So you can get him in. You can get this figure in a lot of dynamic poses, which I really, really like. He has a thigh swivel. Double jointed knee, very good range of motion on that. Ankles do rock forward, or hinge forward and back, I should say, and nice ankle rockers. They do go side to side. Accessories, obviously, he comes with an Okoye build a figure piece, but we will look at that when we look at the figure. Now, I know there was a lot of controversy about this. So he comes with a alternate T'Challa head. I don't really like this head. One, I find it doesn't look anything like the actor. And two, it's a little bit light, I think. Not ter not terrible. Um I don't know if I can say this without being without sounding racist, but I don't mean this to be racist. I, I don't think he looks white. Like he doesn't look to me like he's white. Like, I don't think he's that light, but
but he looks maybe like Puerto Rican. Like I can maybe see that, which I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with that, but a, a character that is known, a character that is known for being black, and I know that's not his defining character trait, like oh he's a black guy, but I, I mean he was one of the first black superheroes. This is one of the first black superhero movies, and the head sculpt should kind of respect that, but it doesn't quite get the job done. Nice, nice head sculpt. I do like the head sculpt. It just, I don't think it, I don't think it's dark enough. And I don't think it looks enough like the actor. I'm sorry if that sounds racist. I really don't mean it to be. Ho hopefully you guys know what I'm, hopefully you guys know what I mean. And he does come with the two alternate fists. So, all in all, I really like this figure. I'm really, ow, I just, ow, I just hit my elbow. You guys can see that. I don't know if you heard that, but I hit my elbow. It hurts a little bit. But all in all, this is a really nice figure. I, I like him way better than the Civil War version. So I definitely am going to recommend that you guys pick this guy up. Because he's really fun. So you got you got the fun factor. And he looks nice. And you want to get that Okoye anyway, right? Yeah. So definitely recommend this guy. But that is going to be it for me, guys. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me some love down below by hitting that subscribe button because I'm bringing you new videos daily and that is the best way to make sure you don't miss a thing. Also, please like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. Love to get your thoughts on this figure. Um, social media links will all be in the description. You can follow me there if you would like. Uh, every Friday night, guys, on the Sanctuary YouTube channel, myself and some other kind and knowledgeable gentlemen bring you the Spaghetti and Friends podcast where we talk movies, comics, TV shows, every everything, guys. We talk about everything. We have a lot of fun. So come spend your Friday night with us and check out the Sanctuary Facebook page. Make sure you definitely join us there. And that is going to be it, guys. Once again, thank you. Thank you for all your support. Again, could not do it without you guys. So thank you. I love you guys, man. I really mean that. So thank you so much. Have yourselves a great day. And I will see you guys next time with another figure review. And bye.